So you want your stream transition to look from this to this? Stay tuned. Hello and welcome back to another video. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing well. If you do, hit that subscribe button. Um, also turn on the notifications so you know when a video goes live. Also, I stream on Twitch from time to time. If you want to check that out, link will be in the description below as well. All right, enough with the plugs. I hope you guys are doing well and I hope you're excited for this transition. Um, I made this for you guys, so uh, I hope you guys will enjoy. So let me tell you how you can get this transition. All right, um, there's a link in the description down below which links to my Discord. If you join the Discord, uh, let me actually show you right here, right now, if I can find the button. So, you have joined the Discord. Woo! Okay, and now you're wondering, where is the transition, right? Because that's why I joined. Not for your beautiful face, Socks. For your transition. Well, you navigate down in the sections to GFX stuff. Okay, as you can see already. Uh, there's a little bit of um, um, stuff already uh, on there. Uh, a webcam overlay if you want to use that as well. But yeah, go down. Click on the link right here. It's a mega link. If you click it, um, it will open up this window right here. Um, yeah, that's it. And um, then press just download as zip. And it will be downloaded. Easy peasy, right? So yeah, this is how the, the file thing looks like, right? And here you have the, the transition and um, the notes uh, wherever you saved it. Okay, keep that in mind because we will need it. So now you have the right files to use, right? To um, add the transition. So now what you're going to do is go to this little section right here. Scene transi transitions in your OBS. It's very, very simple, guys. Just uh, click on the plus sign um click on stinger because that is a custom transition click on that name it uh pokeball uh epically i don't know man I, I can't type there we go now you just browse to where you have stored your file for me it's right here pokeball transition you add it and now you have a transition so you can preview it if you want uh press on this and there you have it. There's no audio. We will fix that in a second. But okay. So you see that transition point. Uh, if you press the preview. It switched too fast. Before the actual transition. So what you do is um, you time it. And luckily I already have the timing for you. You type in 1400 milliseconds. And if you uh, press preview again. It should cover up. And then the transition happens behind the, um, the Pokeball. So yeah, one more time. There we go. Poof. And it's gone. There's also sound involved in this. Um, so let me tell you how to do that. You go to audio monitoring. Uh, it's off right now. So what you do is you click on monitor only. Uh, mute output. Okay. If you press uh, preview transition again. There you have it. There you have the sound. Pretty cool, right? So yeah, that's the transition. Very, very easy to do. Now to add it to a scene, right? You press OK. Now you have your Pokeball epically right here. And all you have to do right now to add the, the transition to a scene is just obviously go to your scenes. Right click. Press on transition override. It's, if, if, if it's on fade, just go to your uh, Pokeball epically or whatever you named it. And yeah, there you have it. You also... You, you can also do it to other scenes, obviously, to every scene that you want to have. Um, transition override. Choose your name. And then when you have added the transition to the scenes that you want to use, click on it. And there we go. So in conclusion, the reason why I like to use um, custom everything, to be honest, is um, the more you customize stuff for your channel, the more it sets yourself apart, right? And that is very, very important, especially in the times that we are living in right now as streamers. Um, there's a lot of streamers out there. So uh, whatever, whatever you can do to stand out, even just a little bit like a transition, you know, it only lasts for a few seconds. 
um, but it does help give your viewers just a little bit more of a better experience, I guess. Uh, you can do a lot of cool things with transitions. You can uh, put your branding in it, like your logo, uh, other cool stuff. Uh, yeah, you just name it. I hope you guys like this little free Pokeball transition that I made for you. Um, to stand out just a little bit more, right? By the way, guys, if you want me to do like a series or a mini series that I go over stream overlays, for example, webcam overlay, um, just a, a, an overall overlay, stuff like that. And if you want me to, to do that, I can also make one um, for you guys as well, like just a general thing. Like, for example, a webcam overlay or something else that you guys want to see or you know just let me know in the comments if you guys are interested in me doing a mini series like that um and if so what else should i do what up next let me know thank you for watching i do really appreciate it um i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you have leave a like subscribe and i will catch you in the next one. Oh, also don't forget to turn on the notifications. Yada yada yada. You guys know the drill, right? Thank you, and I will see you. Bye. All right. Thank you for watching to the end of the video. I do really appreciate that. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, maybe subscribe, leave a comment if you want to have more episodes of this or other games. I'm always open for suggestions. Um, that being said, I also stream on Twitch from Monday to Friday. Link will be in the description below. Appreciate it. Alright, enough rambling. Bye-bye. So